Hi, it's Mr. Vogel here. I'm going to demonstrate graphing tides. Today I'm going to graph Sunday the 4th of October and Monday the 5th of October from the Tweed Heads New South Wales tide chart here. First of all, I'm going to check the times. Use going to the draw tool and underlining the times, 12.41 a.m is a high, it's going to be at the top of my peak. The next low will be at 7.30 a.m. This is when the tide chart will turn and start heading back up. The next tide is 2.24 p.m. and then 9.07 p.m. low tide. Now that I have my times, I'm going to scroll down and check my graph. I notice that the time of day is every two hours. On the left, it's tide height in meters. Checking back my original data, I have a high of 1.05 meters and a low of 0.39 meters. Looking at my tides for the next few days, I notice the tides are somewhere between zero and the highest tide would be 1 meter 39. Now I can select a scale starting at zero at the bottom here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, about eighteen lines. So every two line, every line could be point two of a meter. So my scale is 0.2 of a meter. You do not have to use a pen, like a draw pen like I am doing. You may use a text box or another method. Okay, for my example today, my highest tide is 1 meter 40. So I have to turn my scale up to 1 meter 40. Remember, I've chosen to go up into 0.2 of a meter for each line on my graph. Okay, I'm now going to plot my first tide of the day on Sunday, the 4th of October. At 12.41, we are reaching a high of 1.04 meters. Just changing my color here to a blue pen. And I'm going to estimate where 12.41 a.m. is on my graph. Okay, a.m. means it's after midnight and it's still quite early. So if this is 2 and we're going to scale 12 would be here. 12.41 I imagine would be approximately here. I place a mark at the time there then I go up to 1.05. I notice I have a 1.0 and a 1.2. I'm going to estimate is 1.05 is approximately here. I place a mark, and this is going to be my high tide mark. So from this, the line curves to this point and curves away from this point. I just leave it in a slight curve until I pick my next tide. Going down my tide chart, I notice the next one is 7.30 a.m. with a 0 0.39 meters. So 7.30 a.m., 0 0.39. Here is 6, 7, 7.30, approximately here. And just to confirm, it is a 0.39 meters. 0.39 is just under 0.4. So I'll make a mark just here for where my low tide is. This is where the tide chart changes and the cart's curving towards the next high tide. I can then join the high down to the low tide. And we're going to start heading up to the next high. On my graph, I can see the next one table. The next one is 2.24 p.m., which if it was 24-hour time would be 14.24 p.m., and it's at 1.4 meters. 
So 14, 20, check my time, 14, 24, estimate it being about there, and a 1.4 meter high. Place a dot, and remember that we can now go from that low tide, the tide rises through the day, and it curves and starts heading back down after that point. My last tide for the day is a 9.07 p.m. adding 12 hours because it's p.m. would be 19.07. So 19.07 with a 0.49 which is just under 0.5. 19.07 there is no 19 but I can predict it's just about here and to confirm I'm looking at a 0.49 meters so 0.49, I have 0.4, and 0.5 would be half of between. So I'm going to estimate it being about here. I can then continue my graph down and curve ready for the next one. I can then start looking at the times for the next day. What I might do this time is because it's PM, I'm going to change it to PM time. So instead of 332 I'm going to write here 1532 because my graph is in 24 hour time 1024 if I add 12 it would be 2224 and I continue to now graph back to my blue pen 258 a.m. at 0.98 2.58 a.m. I know this is almost 3 a.m. and 0.98. 3 a.m. I've now gone across into the next day and here's my 3 a.m. You'll notice the tides are almost the same distance between the low and the high and the high and the low. 0.98. Even though each tide is a different height or a different low. As we come up, we start to curve at the point and start moving back down. I'm going to stop this tutorial before I complete my Monday the 5th of October charts because this is just an example to show you how when you have to do yours for Friday the 9th and Saturday the 10th, you'll be using this data here. However, before I finish my graph, I do need to put a title on. So my title will be where and the dates that I'm recording the title tides. You may use a text box instead of a pen if you wish to to do this. Alternatively, you may wish to print out some paper and do the whole thing by hand and photograph it to send to your teacher. Just remember when you are doing tides, check carefully 24 hour time and whether it's a high or a low. The curves are different for a high and a low. And just to finish off my tides, 4th of the 10th. All right, students, good luck with your tide chart. Enjoy.